Hello, Sailor the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man, coming to you from the island of Puerto Rico. I'm here smoking my with my Rossi and some blood call. And I realize they put it down as one of the best smelling aromatic. What do you think? I think so. My wife likes it. So that being said, I'm smoking a little bit of it. I decided out of all the cherry flavor blends, it's not too cherry, you know, where it's overdoing it. It's got cherry flavor. And if I sure, I'm sure if I smoke two or three bowls, you know, I'd have more flavor from it. That being said, it's enough for me. I could still, still taste some of tobacco. I just like the way it's made and the way it it holds on to, to humidity very, very well. And it's a it's an excellent product. I got no complaints on it. Most people don't complain about it. It smells good. And you gotta re remember, uh, we have to show some etiquette, you know. We can't be running around stinking up other people's um, <laughs> areas, you know. Remind me that that you know every place is it's not like our place, and sometimes we venture off into another country and they might not enjoy that and see that as troublesome and they don't want you to smoke that. So you have to be cognizant where you're smoking, how you're smoking, what you're smoking, and the laws of the land. Simple as that. Some places I'm, I'm able to smoke open. Other places, unfortunately, until the laws changes, I have to abide by them. That being said, I want to talk about the NBA basketball player, female Brittany Grinder. Early this morning, I was reading online in different sources. They're giving her nine years and, and four months already time served, and people are going to come up with their opinions. This I have to say. And I say to warn all those youngs, all those that have never traveled, I've been over 200 countries during my naval career. And I learned firsthand that you can get yourself, an American can get themselves in trouble. They might not perceive themselves to be arrogant, but oftentimes, you know, us males in the military, you know, we kind of boast and we kind of, with that macho attitude, we go abroad, and people can see it. People, your attitude towards them, as even in third world countries where you think they're inferior, where they think you you should be catered to, that comes across very negative. And unfortunately, we haven't been the best ambassadors in representing our country, the best of our country. You know, the worst thing that you could do, send sailors, military personnel and they begin to abuse the women of those countries and people see it they have to make a living and it's a form of exploitation i had my fun in the philippines and in, uh, in asia and then afterwards i sat there to think about that i was benefiting from a system set up to exploit them i was young i was 18 19 years old and i began to think you know i'm here doing what was done to two women in America, to slaves, and, and they have no other means of support than to prostitute, sell drugs, or what have you. And a lot of it has to do with first-rate powers exploiting their country, you know, through capitalism and other means. That being said, what's happened to Britney is a damn shame. This is a woman that went to college. Obviously, people are going to make like uh make make it even deeper you know the fact that she's black a woman in a foreign country people sympathize with that people sympathize with the fact that in our in our culture what she did is no no big thing but but not in russia and let's remember that she was arrested before russia invade before russia invade uh, the Ukraine check the source so this isn't something the Russians all of a sudden decided 
this is what we're gonna do she's gonna come through and we're gonna arrest her and see what she has and keep her that's not the case the case is she made a grave mistake thinking because she's a NFL a basketball player and somehow she had carte blanche because and a lot of sports people feel that way that because they're sports and they make money and they make the establishment money and they should get a pass and we've seen they prove it over and over again the situation in Cleveland they hired a quarterback that abuses masseuses most of the time he settled out of court he still got some court cases they gave him a slap suspended him for six games he had over 20 people and how many of those he settled out of court by 10. can you imagine they all went it would have been disastrous for him you know not only that think of the look that it gives the nfl keeping this obviously he did something on the playing field because he's that good and if you're that good most likely you get a pass but not britney spears she got two strikes against us one that she's lesbian two that she's black three that she's an american playing war and she shouldn't have been doing what she did that being the case, I hope it gets resolved. But if you're truly innocent, you never plead guilty. Whoever gave her that advice, yeah, plead guilty. I'm not going to plead guilty if I didn't do something. And that's where it says a lot about her ethics, her morals, that she's willing to so her soul way to try to get out early and the fact is that might not happen she just might have to do the time but when you have strong conviction and strong moral if you're innocent i die innocent god knows if i'm innocent or something i will never plead guilty that's it that's my editorial on it good luck to her my prayers go out to her her family Hopefully she's get out because she does it. She'll be 40 something when she gets out of there. And you know, let's not forget, there's another gentleman that we're not talking about because he's not high profile. And he's been there a lot longer. And nothing's said about him because he doesn't play basketball. That be said, Sailor the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man. Strange world.